What do you think makes us human? Language, relationships, teaching and learning, critical thinking, communication, whatever you think the best answer is, I think we would all agree that being human requires some incredibly complex behaviour. Okay, so how do neuroscientists attempt to measure how we behave in a brain research lab? Well, usually participants will sit in front of a computer screen and do tasks where they press buttons and we measure how quickly and how accurately they respond in different situations. Almost like taking a snapshot of how they behave. Now this approach has been foundational, but with new technology and with all of our complexity, there's got to be a better way. Well, in recent years, behavioural scientists have started using three-dimensional motion capture to investigate how our bodily movements, and in particular our hand movements, reflect the decision-making process. So for example, my work investigates how adults and children exercise their self-control. Now measuring hand movements allows me to see different things, like how distraction pulls people away from their goals, or when people change their mind. But what's going on in the brain as we see these processes unfolding in action? For example, how are you able to catch yourself heading in the wrong direction and then quickly correct it before you've even pressed the button and made a mistake? Now answering those kinds of questions requires a method of capturing the brain and the body at the same time, over time. And that is the focus of my thesis. Using specially designed techniques to capture our movement dynamics, I'm able to isolate important moments like when you start moving or change your mind. And then I use electroencephalography, or EEG, to study the underlying brain activity. Now, so far I've tested around 70 adults and 25 children with my method. And one of my most exciting discoveries so far is this unique pattern of brain activity that emerges the moment you decide to start moving after pausing to allow your self-control to work. A piece of the puzzle that's probably always been there, but now we have the right tools to capture it. My hope is that these innovations will push the frontier, giving researchers a rich and moving picture of how we behave and therefore a much larger window into our minds. And this can help to study all sorts of different things, like why we don't all behave exactly the same, or how children are learning to make good decisions as their brains develop, even how disorder and disease of the brain changes how we behave. I'm pioneering a new approach to understanding the human mind that really does justice to just how remarkable human behaviour is. <laughs>